Hello, my name is Jason Chonko and I'm the Applications Marketing Manager at Siglent Technologies North America. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the SVA1015X Spectrum and Vector Network Analyzer and we're going to use it to characterize an attenuator, actually two attenuators. I ordered some attenuators, these are SMA attenuators. I ordered two different types, a 10 dB and a 20 dB and uh, they did not come labeled. So I'm going to use the SVA uh, to help figure out which one of these is the 10 dB attenuator and which one's the 20. Uh, for those of you that may not be aware, an attenuator is an element that will decrease the signal coming out of the, uh, coming out. So we've, if we have zero dBm coming in, we're going to have minus 10 dB coming out, or uh, if it's a 10 dB attenuator, or if it's a uh, zero dB in and we've got a 20 dB attenuator, we'll get 20 dB out. So uh, it helps to knock the signal down or decrease the amplitude of the signal going into the next element of the circuit. These are 50 ohm and they terminate with SMAs on either end, SMA female and SMA male. Um, and so how we're going to do that, if you're not aware of the, uh, the way that the spectrum analyzer works, we've got a tracking generator output here connected to an adapter and a cable that terminates in an SMA. And then we have an RF input over here. So this tracking generator signal is going to be uh, output through this port, through this cable, and then it's going to go through our attenuator. And we're going to then measure it with this port, the RF port, and we're going to look at the output on the, uh, on the front panel of the display here. Uh, but what we've got, uh, the first thing that we want to do for accuracy is we've got the two cables. What we're going to use is a through cable or a through adapter. This is an SMA to SMA through adapter, and it just si simply is going to couple the tracking generator output to the RF input. And so I'm just connecting these two up, nice and tight, and there we are. So the signals should come out through this cable, come back in through or go through the adapter to the other cable to the RF input, and we're going to turn on the tracking generator and you'll see that the tracking generator level is set to minus 20 dBm. So when we turn on the tracking generator, lo and behold, we've got a line right here coming across about minus 20 dBm. A lot of the ripples and things that you see are, are totally normal. They're within specifications. Some of them are due to cable effects as well as the adapters. We actually wanna get rid of everything in this system uh, or all of the errors that are being caused by the cabling and the adapters. We can very easily do that by normalizing. Here you'll see the normalize button. This is mathematically going to subtract this signal and it's going to uh, normalize it. So it's going to take this value at each frequency uh, across here, each frequency bin. Each value that we have on there is going to be subtracted from the opposite of, or subtracted from itself, and we're going to get zero. So you're going to see when we do the normalization, the line is going to go straight and it's going to be at zero dBm. Now what we can do is normalize, the, we can move the normalization reference level. So we're just going to go here and drop it down and now you'll see that it's a nice flat line. Again, it's at zero dBm, which makes sense because we've normalized all of the losses of the cabling. So we effectively have a relative zero measurement. Now that is with this adapter in place. I'm going to put the SMA attenuators. And so we'll just set that down there. So I'm gonna take one of my attenuators. I'm going to put it in place. the adapter on the other end here. So we're going to add the attenuator in place. And now we'll see that that line is at minus 20 dBm. So this is the 20 dB attenuator. Remember we had the zero reference line, now we've dropped it 20 dB. So this is our 20 dBm attenuator. And just replace that really quickly with this other one. Make sure that it is truly a 10 dB attenuator. So we've got this is at minus 10 dBm. So we now have uh, characterized our attenuators, or at least verified that they are correct. This is the uh, 20 dB attenuator, and now we've got the 10 dB attenuator. So using a spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator, or in this case our uh, SVA, with the tracking generator, we can take a closer look at our devices like attenuators, and we can make sure that they're operating correctly. 
Thank you very much for watching the video. If you have any questions, please contact your nearest Siglent office. Have a great day.